Hello guys and welcome back to Lead Logics. This is the combination sum two problem from Lead Code and the number for this is 40. So we are going to solve this problem today and if you are new to the channel please do subscribe to the channel. So in this problem we are given with a collection of candidate numbers named as candidates and a target number named as num target. We have to find all the unique combinations in the candidates where the candidate number sum can be equal to the target and we have to keep one thing in mind each number in candidate may be used only once that means we should not take duplicates so by duplicate it means like if 116 can be formed with two different six then we have to only take it as one particular set and not both times we have to print it so let's see for this example Suppose we have 10, 1, 2, 7, 6, 1, 5 and the target is 8. So 1, 1, 6 can be used to make a sum of 8. 1, 2, 5 also, 1, 7 also and 2, 6 also. So the, these are all the possible uh, these are all the possible candidate numbers that sum up to the target for the value target 8. And similarly you can see for 2, 5, 2, 1, 2 and target 5 so individually 5 can be considered to make a target of 5 otherwise 2 1 2 can be taken now in this case we had three twos but you can see we have taken only one particular set from the answer and duplicates are avoided and also all of these all of these are in the lexicographical sorted order like you can see it is always starting from 1 when 1 ends then it starts with 2 and in this case also 1 2 2 so we have to this means we have to sort the array also so let's see how we are going to uh, approach the problem using an example this side so this is a particularly particularly a uh, variation of combination some problem where we were printing all the unique combinations now here we have to tackle a problem that we have to avoid duplicate and uh, especially when the input has repeated elements so first of all our approach will be that we have to sort the array whenever you get an array you do first operation what you do you have to sort in this case I have taken a sorted array already and with a target 4 the array is 1 1 1 2 2 and the target is 4 so you can see the possible combination is 1 1 1 2 and 2 2 so what we are going to do we are going to recursively call and use backtracking mechanism like you can see we can uh, we start at the index 0 we can start at the index 0 and move the index pointer 1 ahead and take and for every case we are, there are two cases we can pick a particular element or do not pick an element pick element do not pick element similarly you can go on in the flow like for the first 0th index you have picked up the index become 1 target sum becomes now 3 because you have already one picked 1 now you will not go to you can go to index 2 where you can pick another one ok now there is also option you cannot pick it so you avoid it and similarly when you go till index 4 index 3 you pick 2 so that particularly forms your one answer 1 1 2 or when you move to the first index directly what you see like first index was similar to 0th index so you simply backtrack now second index second index was 1 first index was also 1 simply backtrack then you move to the third index third index was 2 so okay we can start from here so what you do call for the fourth index take 2 into account then you go to the fifth index or uh, fourth index you increment the counter as uh, by 1 so the index become 5 target is achieved so what you do print 2 2 that is the possible answer so this was how we are going to approach the problem now let's come to the coding part of this 
But before that, do like the video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channel if you're new to the channel. So the first step is that we are going to sort the candidates array because sorting helps in skipping the duplicate part and ensure that we can break out of the loop like here you can see in here when we saw that one already occurred in the last particular recursion as the starting we simply skipped it two times and similarly we did it for the fourth index as well we skipped it because this element was fourth element was also two and third element was also two so we simply skipped it so that's why we are going to sort the array because it helps in skipping that part now once we have sorted we can start with our recursively call we pass on an index you can see we pass on an index the candidate array the target which we have required a list of list to store the answer and a list of list to store a temporary temporary sequence you can say at that time like this sequence will be added to the main answer list when the target becomes zero and how will the target become zero like whenever we are picking a particular element what we do we reduce our target by that element so whenever our target will be zero that means the the particular sequence which we have in ds makes the target value equal to the this target and that means this is a particular this is a particular solution to the problem a particular sequence is a solution like it may be 1 1 6 1 2 5 for this example for this example it may be a 1 1 2 or 2 2 so whenever target is 0 that means the sequence is ds is a possible answer possible combination and we have to add it in the final answer and we return from that particular recursion so okay otherwise what we will do we have called for index 0 initially candidate we have passed the candidates target answer and a new sequence so what we are going to do we are going to iterate from index till the arr of length that is the candidate dot length and we simply this is a for loop and then what we do if we check if the last element of the array was same as this particular array, array element simply continue that means skip this part skip this recursion we do not have to do anything if it is not equal to this then we'll continue ahead and also if the ar element becomes greater than target that means our uh, we cannot achieve the answer how because we have already sorted the candidate array in the increasing order so if you get an element which is greater than target that means for this particular recursion answer is not possible so you simply break from it now if you pass these condition that means there is a chance that you can get a possible answer so what do you do you pick the particular element increase the error index by one reduce the target by the element you have picked that is arr of one and simply pass it uh, in the next recursion call so you have called the recursion again and then in the next next step what you have to do remove the element that you have added last so you are, you can see we are doing a pick here and we are doing a not pick here so this is how we are going to approach the problem let's try to run this problem red run this solution as well so i hope it runs fine okay for the sample test cases let's run for the hidden test cases as well so okay hidden test cases also pass with a good time complexity and a good memory complexity so let's talk about the time complexity as well so the time complexity is uh, 2 raised to the power n where n is the number of candidates this is because in the worst case each candidate can either be included or excluded so that's why that we are taking for a particular array element two cases so the time complexity becomes 2 raised to the power n and the space complexity becomes uh, o of n where n is the number of candidates because we are using this list of list and another list so that's why you can also check my 
solutions from the lead code panel this lancer tech 6 solution this you can find it the solution panel here you can find the intuition the approach visually explained examples how we are doing this you can check for the examples from here this is the same example I was telling you and you can see the time complexity space complexity Java code C++ code Python code JavaScript code and yes do remember to upload so I hope you do like I hope you do understood the video do like the video share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you are new to the channel so thank you for watching the video have a nice day